Hello everybody and welcome. I have here a 12 inch late 2013 MacBook Pro that I got for my brother as a gift so he can work on his projects. And it's not in a very good physical shape, but it's the top of the line late 2013 model with uh, well the i7, 16 gigs of RAM and the GeForce, I think 750M instead of just the Iris graphics. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's right, GT 750M with two gigs of memory. And I have here, well, the Mac Pro that you know and love. And I was always very curious to see the difference in performance in regards to these new extensions, AVX, you know, AVX2 and so on. So here, you can see the Xeon. And I know that there's a version of the i7 that should be a 1366 unit with AVX, but if I do that, I lose the second processor and ECC memory, so I'm not gonna do it. And it's an instruction set down there, it's missing AVX, AVX2, and FAM3. AVX and AVX2 are getting more popular now. Uh, so that's probably gonna be why I mean this, well, my Mac Pro may be reaching the end of the, its life and maybe I'm just gonna get the i7, I don't know. But you see, four cores, eight threads, i7 4850HQ versus six cores and 12 threads. And of course I have two sockets because this is a dual CPU unit. And 95 watts of uh, TDP, that's the fastest 95 watts units, the 3.07 gigahertz model. And I'm curious then about performance. Of course, graphics, unbeatable, yeah? Here I have uh, a Radeon RX 558 with eight gigabytes versus the, yeah, the 4750M. But what matters now is, I want to bench this Oh, it doesn't allow, allow me to try AVX in the unit that doesn't have AVX, but well, I can still run a quick bench and see how this goes. So I'm going to start here with the Mac Pro. And I get 4400 on multi-thread and 301 on single thread performance. Let's try now the MacBook Pro. We go to Bench. Let's use the same version of the test. Click on Bench CPU. And I get, of course, much lower performance. Two less cores. And actually, a lot of less threads here. And the single performance, single thread performance is actually faster because now the CPU is probably turbo boosting. And naturally, you know, it can turbo boost faster. It's a much newer CPU. So let's see. A multi-thread rate is 497 against, naturally I have 1488. But now let's be fair and use the same number of threads. So let's just do now four threads here. That's gonna match the number of physical threads of the MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro now is scoring 1365 and the Mac Pro 1200 so of course per core performance is much better here we get a ratio of ratio of four and the mac book pro is it would be nice if it would show me 3.7 that well explains single thread performance and also once you are using all the cores the mac book pro gets well restrained by thermal limits now let's try to use the eight logical cores with hyper-threading. And do the same here with the Mac Pro, but of course using uh, 
8 to match the heat stress of the MacBook Pro. I'm getting a 2400. And I get here 1825. So I'm not sure now I was expecting the Mac Pro to behave better, but now again, yeah, we are probably hitting hyper threading, whereas here we are probably not really utilizing the whole pipeline of the CPU, allowing it more room to breathe. So Resonance really as, ex as expected. Anyway, that's a very short video. I hope, I hope I'm gonna have time to review this MacBook Pro here. I'm not sure I will. I always like to work on these old units, you know, as a, well, as a reference, you know, because you get these old, these old laptops that people can afford and the new ones <laughs> are unobtainable. Now I'm, I'm running just as, as curiosity here, a PS for you. 1901 and I think this is using AVS, AVX, even though of course the Mac Pro doesn't support it. So now on 24 threads I get 1486 points and with only 8, eight threads, 2077. So now as you can see the newer instructions really make a difference in software that use them. So of course my Mac Pro is going to remain with me, maybe become a server down the line because I can add more RAM and so on and I lose a lot, use a lot of old applications but at some point as you know new applications start leveraging the instructions then it may not be so advantageous to keep it anymore but it's a great computer nonetheless thanks for watching